Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250. Welcome back to the long dark. So, it is uh, just next day. If you look at the top right, you can see the sun is uh, just been up for, I don't know, two hours or so? Not very long. And so I think we're going to go ahead and get started with some of our tasks for today. Now, we have a lot of optional tasks. Our main task is, of course, to go to the airliner. But to be honest, I like the idea of some of these side quests. It definitely let us explore the area a little bit, so... Maybe we'll check out the Sasquatch thing. I think first, though, we're going to check out this town. I've uh, managed my inventory a little bit. Before we got started here. Let's see if there's any wolves out here. I do have some cooked meat on me, so if there are any immediately around, they're going to basically bolt straight at me. Okay, we might be okay. So anyway, um, I managed my inventory a bit. I went and I got rid of the bow because the bow's a little bit heavy. The arrows are a little bit heavy. And normally that wouldn't necessarily dissuade me from using the bow, but because I have a pistol with a ton of bullets, I don't really feel like it's necessary to keep it around. So I'm going to just be leaving it in there for the time being and if it does get to the point where I do need it eventually you know that I can go pick it back up and I also left behind a lot of wood um, left behind a lot of stuff just because I don't think we're going to need it only thing I haven't really left behind is food and that's mostly because while food kind of weighs a lot and stuff like that, you end up going through it pretty quick. So I'm not too worried about it. I figure we'll, we'll get rid of it as we go here. But before we do anything, I kind of want to explore this town a little bit. So, this little gas station existed before this bridge existed, and then these couple houses after the bridge also existed, but all this stuff to the left over here, this community center, and the church, and that little dock and everything, that's all new. So, we're going to check all that out, see if there's anything interesting. I am going to have to try very hard to resist the urge to pick up everything over here, but like I said, we really don't need a lot of this stuff. And it's really hard because I am just a teensy bit of hoarder. Not like, you know, not like the hoarders you see on TV hoarder. Okay, that's actually useful. I'm not quite that bad. But, what we got in here? Probably a bunch of coal. Yep. I am a little bit of a hoarder. And so, I have a bad habit in these kind of games of basically grabbing everything. So, the only real things I'll be looking for now is... Potentially, I'll be looking for food, because food's almost always useful, and I can... I can go drop that back off in the community center if I need it. Um, cloth is usually useful... It's usually not too heavy, and, I, and I'll drop it off if that gets annoying as well. And then any really nice clothing, I'll probably end up keeping. I think I can use like this. not that. We got some boots. Not terribly great. And in the bedroom, generally you're gonna find lots of uh, like low tier crappy clothing. Do I actually need anything? No, the only thing I'm missing is accessories. 
And honestly, I'd say most of my clothing items are pretty okay. The only thing I might get is like a really heavy jacket, but that is, uh, it's going to weigh me down a bit. And while I'm here, of course, I'm also looking for any kind of notes or anything. Okay, going to leave that water because that's, that's a lot of water. The toilets usually will have something like a, like half a gallon of water in them. Which, you know, can be quite useful, considering you go through quite water in a day, but it's also, uh, pretty heavy. This water's about eight pounds for every gallon or so, and considering your weight limit is about 66, I think, pounds? Okay. Um, and your clothing and, you know, basic materials, you need to take up quite a bit of that. Don't really want to be carrying too much excess water. Of course, if you don't have enough, then you're stuck with trying to melt snow to get water, and that's, uh, that can sometimes be a little bit of work. Especially if it's super windy and you don't have anywhere to actually go and hide and make it. Okay. I used to be super scared of walking on ice when I first started playing the game because I heard about the whole ice breaking mechanic. In the, um, I think it's the coastal highway map. But, uh, it doesn't... <laughs> normal, normal like, lakes and rivers, it's not a problem for. It's only for the, um... Did that deer just, like, die? Oh. <laughs> I thought he just fell over and died. Wow, okay. Hello there. Hunting rifle, okay. So, I've got a little bit of a choice here. I can go with the pistol... Pistol's interesting because it's not terribly accurate. Although at short ranges, it's perfectly adequate. But you can't exactly hunt with it very well. Um, but it is a one-handed weapon. So if you get a sprain, you can still use the weapon. If you get a sprain in one hand. The rifle, on the other hand, is a two-handed weapon. And if you injure your wrist, you cannot use the weapon. Let's go inside. <laughs> but anyway, the rifle's pretty heavy, so I think we're gonna leave it. Like, let me let me do a quick comparison here. The rifle is a, almost 10 pounds. The pistol's about 3.3. So... Yeah, it's kind of heavy. This is another case where if... If I need to hunt for something, I'll come back and grab it. But barring that, I don't think I'm going to hold on to it. Let me think about some other stuff. I want to keep a can on me. The can's useful in case I need to boil some water, basically. Um, you can also make tea in it, so I guess that's kind of useful too. Um, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna keep one of these blue flares. Sorry, I'm, I'm inventory managing again. I don't know if I actually need quality tools on me. That's really just for crafting and repair. Although I don't exactly have a crafting table here. There might be one elsewhere in the town, but maybe I uh, maybe I should hold on to that. All oh, right, we can drop this gut. That's gonna make us smelly. I'm sure that hasn't been helping us. Adding on some extra weight, we can let that cure, and if we get enough hides and guts, we can make stuff with that. I can't remember if I did that last time or not. I also, between the episodes, I remembered a little bit more about last episode. There was a trapper that we had to help that was really injured. I remember that now. Okay. That will help a little bit. We'll drop the fire starter too, because I've got a ton of matches. 
All right. So we're going to go back out there. If the wolves are still out there... Um, but we're just going to shoot them. <laughs> Where you at, boys? Back up! Ow, what the... What, what hit me? Did he bite me? That's right, run away, punks. I got I got loads of ammo. Gotcha. Alright. And we've got more than enough food, so I I don't really have a reason to hunt him down. And the game seems to be very generous with giving us ammo, so. I'm really not too worried. What do we have here? This looks like a spot where they grow things. I wonder though how uh, how warm this place actually gets in the summer. Maybe it's not growing. Maybe it's some. Maybe this is. Oh, like a stable. There's a hatchet out here too. Now I think I have a hatchet. I do. Okay. That's the other thing. Some of these tools you get are kind of heavy. Like the hatchet's about three pounds, which. You know, over the course of all of my weight is a, a little bit of weight. And to be honest, I don't know how many trees I'm going to be cutting down. You know, or if I even necessarily need both a hatchet and a knife. Like I would if I was going, you know, to other sections of the map. And I was trying to survive. But as of right now, we're kind of staying in this map section, so I'm not too worried. Can't remember if I went in here or not. Guess not. Keep uh, opening the hoods. That's what I used to do, and I should keep doing it. It uh, it lets me know that I've checked the car. Though generally speaking, cars are sort of low level in terms of what you actually get from them. Cars are very useful, though. So, like, if you are if you're looking for some sort of shelter to either rest or to you know, regain energy, that sort of thing. Cars are actually really good for that. Because you get a little warmth bonus being in them. Um, and I don't think the wind can get to you in there, so that's pretty helpful. This pack is getting kind of heavy. And you can also sleep in them as well. Which is really useful. And as long as you, as long as it's not too cold outside, and you know, and you can take the warmth benefit from being inside the car and the warmth benefit from sleeping and gain like a net warmth, then it's actually, it's actually a pretty good idea to use them. And they, they, you'll sometimes find them like in far off areas. This, you know, usually on a road, obviously, or near some kind of settlement. But if you find them on a road out in the middle of nowhere, it's actually very helpful. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I don't need matches anymore. I don't know why. I, I keep picking them up. Ooh, Will Mittens, is that... Better in terms of warmth than what I have. It is considerably lighter, but also much less warm, much less wind resistant, less able to. or it gets wetter, I think. Yeah. It's just kind of worse in every way, except for that it's very light. And I think there's something to be said about that. 
in this game is trying to go for the more lightweight clothing. Because it increases your ability to hold things, you know, hold more supplies, gather more things. But at the same time, if you get caught in a snowstorm, you'll lose heat very quickly. So I... I don't know. I don't normally go for the low weight clothing option and really just consider that to be like a side benefit whenever you first start out and you have crappy gear. Alright, we ran into another cemetery here. I'm sure some of these names have some importance. Developers, maybe backers, something like that. Alright, let's check out the church. Oh, this is a nice church. Wonder why people are living here. This sounds pretty bad. Church artifact. Okay. So these little things, uh, I'm noticing, they've been basically adding like side objectives. Problem is, I keep finding more of them and haven't actually completed any of them. I don't know why we would do this, but I guess we can. How are we on weight now? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's going up again. It's it's all this food I've been finding that's a problem. Maybe we'll take a little snack break real quick. I think uh, we got quite a bit of things to drink too, so I think we might drop a little bit of water. I don't know. I'm thinking about the knife's good for like um, for like de like harvesting animals, and the hatchet's good for like chopping up wood. And you can kind of get by without either of them necessarily, but it makes it harder to do either of those tasks. So, I don't know. Why is that so heavy? Okay. I think we're mostly fueled up, so I'm okay without that. If you look at some of these articles of clothing, none of them are, like, terrifically heavy. Like, you know, 2.75 pounds isn't too bad, but they just all kind of add up. Like, it says 11 point, basically 11.2 pounds. That is over one-sixth of, six of my entire weight. Most of my weight's in my tools, actually. Yeah, you know what? We're going to drop the quality tools. Um, we're going to keep the pry bar, because that's useful for exploring and stuff. Uh, we can... Okay. No, no, no. We need the can opener for eating food. Okay. We'll drop the axe. Maybe I'll regret that later. But we know where to find it, and I know where an extra one is, and chances are we might run into another one. So, we'll leave it for now. Being very generous with the food, I almost regret not going for the harder difficulty. 
Because I feel like that would have been the thing to really make it more difficult is if I actually had to source any of my own food. Which is just like not happening right now. Whoa. Okay. That was fun. Bank owned property. I think that's our plane over there. You can see it on fire. Okay, so let's take a look. So, Sasquatch is down there. Most everything else is kind of up. So maybe we'll check out the Sasquatch first. We're still good. Yeah, we're still good on on bullets for a while. See, like, if, if I was in a position where it's like there wasn't much food, then maybe I'd need to hunt that deer with the bow for food, but I've got so much food right now. I guess the good news is, I mean, I can sort of navigate now that they gave me a map in the game, but with this fire coming from this burning pallet stack, it probably makes it easier to get back. Okay. So we need to head roughly in the direction I'm looking. Um, I don't know if this mountain or hill thing is going to get in the way, though. See, the other thing I would normally do, because I'm doing a whole lot of walking around normally, is I'd pick up all these little sticks for firewood. But I'm really not anticipating having to stay out in the cold for any real length of time right now. So we got a waterfall over here. Generally speaking, there's not much of the... Ah, oh, dang it! This is what happens when you walk on slopes too much. The game punishes you. Now, like I was mentioning, I have a strained wrist, but because I only have one... Okay? Because I only have one, I can still hold the gun. And now I have a sprained ankle. Um, we actually do have quite a lot of antibiotics, so I think I'm going to go ahead... Or painkillers. Um, actually, that's the wrong thing. I need that for the pain. be all of my painkillers and then we have quite a few bandages so I can use those on my ankles and wrists you normally you, this is supposed to dissuade you from mountain goading all over the place like I'm doing right now I'm, a, I'm gonna do it anyway but uh, that's supposed to keep you from doing that I think that's supposed to kind of hide the fact that they don't always, um, like, wall off these sections super well. And I've played the game long enough that I'm used to doing this sort of thing. Dang it. Come on. I'm just being mean now. I'm sure, yeah, it's probably supposed to take that low path down there. That's okay. Ow! Okay. Maybe we should do what the game wants us to do and hobble our way back down the mountain. Alright. I kind of just think... That they do it because... They're trying to hide the fact that you can, like, climb all over mountains in weird ways. And sometimes you can kind of... Hop your way out of the map a little bit. Because I've done that before. Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. We're basically right here. And the good news is that these little rabbits hopping around, I can get a bit of an early warning if any uh, wolves are heading in. 
I also see a dead deer, which I'd like to harvest and cook, so... Let's see if we can pick up a couple of sticks. I did get rid of the axe, so we can't really take out any of these large logs, but... Ideally, I'm not really going to stay out here long enough to, uh, to need to do that. Ow. And I think I still have, I have some coal and a couple logs still, so. Should be able to get a bit of a fire. Okay, let's leave that deer alone for a second. Check out the Sasquatch thing. Maybe we got to shoot a Sasquatch. Hello. Looks like a dead person. And some more wood, excellent. A bit. I wonder if I can drop any of this. Wolf skin coat. So the wolves will actually stay away from this. That's really cool that I have that. It is heavy. Six point six pounds. Ouch. But it does provide extremely better stats in like in every way. So I think we're gonna replace Astrid's jacket and then keep the windbreaker to try to lower the weight a little bit maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm guessing him wearing the wolf skin coat was uh, what made it look like. Oh, dang it. This is why I don't keep the pistol out usually. You don't have to look down the sights for the pistol like you do the rifle so you can accidentally shoot it like that. Okay. So after we harvest this, And then cook it. It's probably gonna be nighttime. Alright. Yeah, so this is gonna take a little bit. Hopefully, we don't attract any wolves. I'm hoping that our big scary coat. Makes them want to stay away, and also those rabbits are kind of... The rabbits are, like I said, an early warning system. Usually, I think the wolves, as long as they spot the rabbits first, will kind of chase after them and ignore you unless you get really close. Um, you know, I might not want to stay in this cave. I might just want to hobble my way back to the community center and then cook it there, and then I can stay the night there, rather than staying in some random that cave and then leaving the next day. I think that's what we'll do. It's a bit. We'll make it. So, uh, yeah, unless, if nothing else interesting happens, I'll see you guys back at the community center. Oh crap. Oh! He got, uh... He got scared of the coat, I think. That's good. Like, I, I wasn't really expecting just to hit a wolf right around a corner like that. This coat's gonna be really useful. I have a feeling it won't work in the timber wolves, but... The regular map wolves, I think... Will be repelled by it. At least... Some of them.
Alright, so nighttime's coming in. I am going to cook the food. Um, manage my inventory again. I know it's exciting. And uh, sleep. But uh, I will do all of that. In a, you know, when I cut it. And we'll come back in the morning when I've got everything prepared. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.